Peggy 18. Hey, I'm Zach Cooper, your Splinter Cell Community Developer. In this week's Blacklist Com Dev video, we're speaking to those who embody the characteristics of both the Ghost and the Panther, the stealthy folk who, when choosing to strike, do so from the shadows, but remain undetected. What's that? We'll begin on this rainy rooftop, a nice place to show off the variety of non-lethal takedowns. We'll look at the assault approach, which is lethal and action-heavy in the coming months. But for now, let's keep it quiet. The thing we're going for is we're trying to find unmatched fluidity with Sam, with his environment, with his moves. We're trying to show that Sam has a move for every situation. We take a lot of things into account. We take Sam's position, we take his situation, we take whether it's lethal, whether it's non-lethal. You add all that together and that will create one of the unique moves that we've got. When you're coming up behind someone, um, we obviously we want to take them out quickly and efficiently. So we found uh, a good way of doing it is basically going for nerves in the back of the hair, the back of the neck, go for kidneys as well. Again, we, we try to go for that idea of sound suppression. So it basically gives Sam some more time to do what he needs to do. But the first action is always going to be some sort of suppression. We have combat, we have stealth, we have lethal, we have non-lethal. Uh, we have moving, each one of those can be combat, stealth, lethal, non-lethal. We have static, uh, we've got abductions, they're combat, stealth, lethal, non-lethal. Um, there's a lot of moves. So we add all them together, there's about 90 plus moves. The thinking behind the abductions, to me it's, it's a perfect fit for Splinter Cell. I mean Sam pounces from the shadow, he attacks from the shadows, okay? Uh, so what better way to do that than to, to use cover and make cover your a weapon. With the stealth abductions, the, the philosophy behind that is we always bring into cover. You know, so it's that it's Sam hiding the body, trying to suppress the body, trying to keep it quiet. With the combat abductions, Sam isn't concerned about hiding the body. He's already been detected. Right? So it's about dropping the body as efficiently as possible. Make it easy on yourself. Surrender. 